Hey, what's up guys? And I'm going to show you how to make your own foam uppercut donut for your heavy bag. So stay tuned. All right, so in order to make this attachable uppercut pad for your heavy bag, you're gonna need four of these foam pull noodles. The ones I got here are from Amazon. Uh, they are 51 inches in length and will wrap around the heavy bag. I'll put the link in the description box. You'll also need this nylon quick clip that will be the piece that secures the pad to your heavy bag. And then lastly, you'll just need some Gorilla Tape you can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, really any hardware store will sell this Gorilla Tape. If you don't have Gorilla Tape, uh, duct tape works as well. And this is basically what's going to be uh, the covering for all of these foam pads and what secures them together. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up to show you how it's done. And then we can secure it to the heavy bag. All right, so I wrapped up two of these foam noodles so far. Uh, I have two more to go. But I wrapped them up with the tape. And you can see I just kind of went diagonally around each tube all the way at the very end. And then from there, um, I, I stuck them together and I attached them uh, with tape on four sections. So one, two, three, four. And that's gonna keep these two together pretty well. And the reason I put this tape over this foam is because it's, once you start hitting it, you don't, you know, the last thing you want is for the foam to break apart and just start to, to kind of just fall into pieces so this tape keeps everything together. Then after I'm done with taping the other two, I'm gonna put this strap in between and then tape it all up so the strap can, can come out. And then from there we can wrap it around the bag. So I'm gonna finish up taping these up and then uh, we'll go put everything together. All right, I got all four of them wrapped up. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go through another roll of this Gorilla Tape. So depending on how much you use, you might need two rolls, definitely no more than two rolls of this Gorilla Tape, but we'll see how far I get with this. I have an extra roll I'm gonna use, but I did uh, all four, wrapped them up, taped these two together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this uh, nylon strap in between, and then I'm gonna stack this one on top, just like that, so that the strap is in between the two foam pads, and then I'm gonna wrap this entire thing with tape one more time. That's gonna be the final wrap of Gorilla Tape to secure everything. Um, and this will be our pad that we put around the heavy bag. So let me tape this up and then we'll get to the final part of this video. Product, um, you can see I wrapped it up real good. All four of those foam noodles are inside. The strap is inside. You'll definitely need two rolls of Gorilla Tape. Um, that's pretty much what I went through right there. So, but this is gonna be the exterior where you're gonna be hitting. So it's really important that you tape everything off real well. That way it can stand up to your punches um, on the inside. And you can see it has good firmness. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the heavy bag and I'll show you how it works. So I just installed this foam uppercut donut you see here on my heavy bag, um, all taped up pretty nicely. You can see how I rotated around on the back side here. Uh, I have a little bit of an opening and you have the clip that connects the two sides together. Now, just depending on the circumference of your heavy bag and the length of these pull noodles will determine how far close these get to the back. But really, you just need maybe, I would say, half of the bag to work on your uppercuts. Make sure you tape it off really good because you're going to be hitting this thing and it's going to take a beating. So the more you can tape it off cleanly, the longer, longer it'll probably last you. Now, one drawback I noticed with this uh, uppercut donut, like all the other ones that you can purchase, like the Rev Gear one, I think Ring the Cage makes a donut as well as Tidal, is that when you hit it, it has a tendency to move and it will start to rise. So what you need to do to offset that, that way it doesn't move, is 
Um, I find that it works better at an angle. So you can see right now it has kind of an upward angle. And the reason I say that is if you drop it down lower and you hit it right here in the middle, it'll angle, angle upwards and now it won't move because the angle forces the top part right here to jam into the bag. So if you want your uppercuts to be at a certain height, just position it to where it's tilted at the height that you want it at. So when you hit it now, it, it gets jammed into that position. So do keep that in mind is that you will have a little bit of movement and that's regardless if you make your own or even if you buy the ones uh, through the company that are like 60, 70 bucks, you will get some movement. Um, the only way to really offset that is if somehow you can get a strapping system that connects to the bottom of the bag that holds it in place from not moving upwards, but um, that's for another day. But for now, you can see as long as you can get it jammed up there, it still does a really nice job. You can hit it with different punches at different angles, work around it. You, know, you can hit it with hooks, you can hit it with uppercuts, you can hit it with jabs. So it works pretty good, especially for something that you can just make at home with fairly inexpensive parts. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link for everything I used here in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.